the, the door opens and it's like if you're in front of an oven door that somebody's been cooking in and the, the door opens and takes your breath away, you know, the, between the heat and the smell, you know, and it's, uh, it seemed like you could smell gunpowder everywhere, you know, prob and fumes from helicopters and jets and th th what was going on around you, along with what the, the Vietnamese people with cooking fires and certain places you'd smell marijuana and fish. They had open markets and a, a lot of different smells than, than anything I'd ever been used to. You, you ne we never really did get used to the climate. You can't get used to that heat, but you have to go past a certain point where you can function a little bit in it. You know, and that's what we're doing. Americans were restricted more than the South Vietnamese Army was for what we could do. So at this particular time, we had some pri couple prisoners and or some prisoners, and they called for a helicopter and they put them in the helicopter. Um, and it was the South Vietnamese military that was going to interrogate them. And the helicopter took off, and I'm, I'm thinking probably in the beginning that they're going to take them to a POW camp or something. But the helicopter just goes straight up in the air gets up pretty far up in the air and all of a sudden we see something come out of it where well, they kick some of them out of the helicopter. And they cause the other ones in there to all of a sudden really get talking. 